Hello, Bob, Vintage Lambo. Let's celebrate 100 videos. And let's do that with this little gearbox here for the Speedo Drive. We're gonna take it apart together. We're gonna find out if everything's cool, if it just needs a cleaning and greasing, or if there's more to it. So we'll find out together. So hang on, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna find out how this was set up when I received the car and see if everything's okay and all that good stuff. But we're probably going into the rabbit hole. So please bear with me. Uh, I'm hoping this will be good information for you. So let's just go at it. So we have this box right here and this little gearbox, this is set up. There is a, uh, should be, these are incorrect screws, but should be extended tip screws and that they go into this hole that they have here and that will then line up this gearbox and then also hold it very tight so that the gears are meshed properly. But let's take a look at this really quick. You can see this is deformed out here. The hole is kind of oblong and pressed out. So uh, already we're not looking too good there. So let's just put it in. Again, this is a 350 car with an Espada factory transmission in it. And on the Espadas, they put a gearbox on the front spindle. So now this is a Espada front spindle. We're putting the gearbox on it and We've got a we've got a problem here. Look at this. This all these threads here are in the way of the gearbox. So this ball joint is not doing us any favors. So um, uh, the people that put this together decided let's just change the orientation of this to get this away from that. So see this red mark. And let's just go here. Okay, you see how that lines up there? And now, on the Espada, gearbox kind of goes down and, and towards the firewall. And the Amira goes up and towards the firewall. So now we're like this. And great, we're going this way. The caliper is right over here for the brakes. Uh, front is going that direction. All right, so now... <clears throat> we have a problem. This is not going to work out. The bolt can't go in. It interferes with the screw. And on the other side of the gearbox, this is a, a bit hidden here. This would be very difficult to, to bolt in. So what they did is that they offset it a little bit more. So let's pull this out a little bit. Okay, so you can see the old hole for the extended tip and now they have this new and it's just kind of a shallow little drill hole in there and even with that shallow hole it's still let me just pull this out a little bit uh see see there's a gear right there okay you can see it also uh went and got into where the o-ring groove is so let's just put it together the way they had it here like that so now you can see okay they have clearance for the bolt to go in and it won't interfere with the screw it goes in it does go a little higher towards the top of the car compared to going towards the firewall and that's how they had it set up so what my thought is is that we need to kind of return this back to the original setup of this bracket now we you we, we can't go back to this because it, it's already distorted and back so what i'm going to do and and of course this is very fluid uh this is how i am feeling about doing this right now i haven't done it yet so it's going to be a process of figuring out what is the best for this car but what i at the moment i think i'm going 180 degrees I'll, I'll, we will, I will bore this out to the proper hole size for an extended tip screw. So let me just give you a little diagram. Uh, this is an extended tip screw. And that's the screw that originally went in this gearbox, two of them, and they're missing. 
So, I bore the hole to the proper size for the extended tip and then put it in. And when I put in the extended tip screw, then this is going to go straight in and hold it very firm. The meshing of this gear and this gear, I mean, this is a 90 degree and that's pretty severe. So you need these gears to be spot on, no problems. So my feeling is, is that you can see now I have clearance on both here and here for me to put the bolts in. And so that's why I feel at the moment that would be the best thing for it. So what I'll do is make extended tip screws for this. Now let's, let's go back to uh, the extended screw we're talking about in the diagram. Here's an example on the car of the tack drive box. I think I did a video on this prior. Now, when we take this screw out, we can see extended tip. It's a small little thing, but you can see the extended tip on it. So that's the aim is to make screws that will work on the gearbox. Now, the uh, extended tip screw is going to be a little bit different than this. It's going to be a little bit longer, all these things. But what I have come up with. Now, let me just backtrack again. I am sort of all over the map. Sorry about that. So what causes gearbox failure? There's basically two things I can think of, but maybe three. Uh, but let's just go with the main one. Worn out suspension, the coilover shock then hits the box, breaks it. The other one is that the screw, the extended tip screw can come loose and come out. And then if that comes out, it's just going to just pop right out of the, of this bracket. And then it's lost, you know, it, it's a goner. So what I want to do is I want to make extended tip screws. But what I want to do is I want to safety wire them. So if you see this one here, I don't know if you can see that hole very well, but see, see, it's drilled for safety wire. So what I'm going to do is I've got plenty of length on here so I can work with this. It's a little bit thicker than M4. So I'm going to shave this down. I'm going to rethread it. I'm going to put on the extended tip onto the thing and make it exactly how it should be to make this gearbox fit very snug. I won't have any slop this way. I won't have any slop this way. And these gears will have a good chance to mesh properly. So those are the things that I want to come up with. And so when those screws are in here, I can safety wire this screw down to this screw. So if one wants to come loose, it wants to tighten the other one. And that's the whole idea behind safety wiring. So I know this is getting super long and everything like that, but let's just talk about the other uh, in the room. So let's go with this guy. So you can see that this right side ball joint, and these ball joints are the same, left or right, doesn't matter uh, on fitting. But so I'm just telling you that this was on the right side of the car and it can fit right on the left side, no problem. And you see it's set up for uh, a nut like this and a cotter pin and it's shorter. So the threads don't come out any longer than right here. So if that's the case, then this fits on and I won't have any problem. This is actually going to be farther down a bit, but I won't have any interference problems with the ball joint being too long. So that's my feeling is change the ball joint out, put this configuration back to the factory configuration, make sure everything is a precise fit. And uh, that's about it. So uh, I hope you continue to follow along because it's obviously there's gonna be a part two to this because this video is getting way too long. So uh, thanks for hanging on. Uh, thank you. If you can uh, subscribe, hit the magic button, all that good stuff. Hopefully you might even like it. Hey, please comment. I, I want to hear some comments. I can 
help everyone out who needs any help, no problem at all. So please use me to help you keep your car on the road. Talk to you soon.